I'm just thinking how much I love this lighting. All my gels have gone. It's not bad. It's also being flat on your back. Yeah, flat on my back. Never get on top, Joe. No, and the team. I'm not being flat on my back for years. I'm look, 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 I'm wearing the same dress I started the this vlog off This is very with. short, this Is thing. this actually, oh, that's better. Is that better? Hello, everyone. Hello. I know I started the vlog off in this dress last time. I'm, it was so expensive. I'm trying to get my money's worth. Do you like it? Yeah, it's lovely. Erde. I do think you might be quite hot in it, though, because it's like, it's like a cheesecloth. It's linen. <laughs> it does. Not a cheesecloth. It does. It's lined like a, linen, it which does, is why it's so. But it's that kind of cloth. <laughs> You would agree. Oh, it God. is nice. I know though. I'm an old hippie, but hang on, I'm going to open some windows. This camera's going to fall. Yeah, we it's did. Not gonna it's not going to be hot it's so soon. Hot. It's so hot. We're going. Oh dear. It's like we're in the south of France, to be honest. I know, it? but we're actually in Maribone. Yes, yeah, um, so we're going to the Royal Academy. We're going to the Royal Academy um, of Dance, not art. We're doing a special package recording with um, none other than. Should we, should we name? Yeah, go name? on. With Tim Arthur, who is the who chief, is a dancer. Who no, is doing? Going to do plies for us. He's going to give us a tour and tell us about what it's like to be the chief exec yeah cool. and if anyone like me studied ballet you will have taken royal academy rad exams and mm. royal academy of dance there were two examining boards shigeti and royal academy of dance mm -hmm. rad which i always think were the best and so this these are their new premises yeah. we're going by car because there's no tube to battersea as you all know it's a long old drive are we late um, <gasps> we are yeah, late we have to go. <gasps> we're right turn right. this off. Okay, turn it off no more we're well, no more chat now we can gossip yeah we'll gossip oh okay, my God, okay. So much. i'll pick this up when we get there oh my god this is out of office hours this is oh my god look there's look we are in Battersea yes. in a travel lodge car park. Not because we have trembling. A, we do not have an assignment in any <laughs> of the rooms. This is the only place we can park for the Royal Academy. And for a start we can't use we can't work the car park no. ticket. But also there's a guy There's a man what? shouting abuse and I think it could be at Joe. Can you hear that? I think he's gonna wee on my car. <laughs> he's I'm, in the window. He's gonna throw a bottle at my head. What's he shouting? Or does he listen he's to my show? He could be a listener. Does he not know it's the middle-aged minx he... <laughs> in the car below him? Does he not know who you are? I'm too scared to get out and the if car. if he recognises you, he might throw paint on your new George, dress. George, I... Oh, not on my erdem. <laughs> Please. I know. What the hell? We should go and, we should go and put the cam... Go and have a look. Can you put the camera, can... but don't let him see us film? I don't know which window he's coming out of. Maybe this is against... Can you hear that? I think we might have to. We might, we might have to bleep that out. I truly think drugs are involved. This yeah, is I think for so. all of you who are watching in the rural be. climes. This is what happens in the city. This is what happens in the. When I'm not there are that no short. Time. I'm lying. I'm half in, half out the door. That's he right. could be yelling about the transport links because it's quite bad when you're here. Hope he's yelling about the flaming cycle. Tell him to shout out middle-aged minx. <laughs> Do you think he's recognised? <laughs> Listen, we're late. Spotted. We've got to go. We've got, We've got to go. That have you? Be, have we, got, well have we paid Kings. for the parking? We've paid, and okay. uh, we need to go. If someone's Bring urinated on the roof but when we get back, I'm charging the BBC. Well, I think it might. It will come out of my salary, won't it? So. This interview, by the way, is for the God. It's for the BBC, yeah, but I'm vlogging at the same time. Shot. I'm going. I'm really scared. South London. <laughs> We're going to have to leave this under a blanket. This is South London. She's going to put the throw over her. I'm going to upset everyone who lives Matilda's in South London. Blanket. Uh, Matilda, it's Myrtle. No, that is Matilda's no. blanket. No, you're right. It is. It, it looks is Matilda. Like... No, it is Matilda's blanket. Right, come on. There was a time when I wore these and we used to break the backs. We used to break the backs so that we could wear them during the day. I don't mean going shopping, I mean doing class. Oh my God, are they freed? Are they freed? Which are freed? See, George trained in dance. They're freed. No, but not with knees. So they're made in the East End and each shoe has initials on because they have their own shoemaker. And the initials are on each pair of shoes. There's a U. There's only U. Well, there is because dancers, if their shoemakers oh, retire, they they really panic because they like look at them in gold, oh, gold blocks. Oh my goodness! Sorry, I'm in heaven. 
I mean, I never got this far. I never ever got far enough really to, you know, impress anyone, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> But I loved it so much. Oh you my gosh. Look, you can dream. Look at the you practice can take a skirts. Home. I know. I could take a pencil home. I qualify to have a pencil. I just love this. I, everyone knows Tim from my radio show, and I know Tim for because he's a friend. But Tim, I'm not I'll shut up in a minute. I'm so overexcited. I am standing in an open first and a fourth cross. That's for Gerard to judge. <laughs> Gerard! I was like... We will soon in, in get him to be fully first of all this word. But I was salivating at that studio with bars and just yes. a lone piano. Yes, which just was, you wait and see what else is in store wow, in this building. Wow, I am really excited. I'm going to turn this off so we can record it for radio because that's what we're here for. Where are we going now? We're going into the Lindbury studio. This is... This is Lindbury studio is the studio right at the front of a building. <gasps> And all the studios at the moment smell like new studios. They've got that phenomenal smell. They're all sprung floors by Harlequin. They do like the best sprung floors. They make you want to dance, truly they do, because of the light. And uh, I shouldn't really be walking in my fashion boot across this floor. So sorry. Sorry, George. Put the mic over if you're going to, if we're oh. going to record this as a piece. <laughs> we should probably be on mic. <laughs> Yes, so sorry. Um, oh yes, so sorry. I'm, I'm multitasking here. I'm 360 degree media. <laughs> but there's the bar. I'll turn this off in a moment. Let me just film this because this is unbelievable. Oh my God. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. The double These bars, bars are right? made from beach and they have a natural antiseptic in them. So that's why if you, if you feel the bars, they're not treated with anything. Because one, the patina of people's hands over the years will create, will create it, will, will soften it up. But also it allows the natural antiseptic in the beach um, to, to Do you know, you, uh, you made me think how many, how much bacteria would have been in those filthy old bars that we were using? Okay, but if you're in this shot, you can't upstage me. Myrtle is here. Okay, so I'm going to lift the camera up so you'll be out of shot now, so that it'll be on me and more flattering. That was quite an experience over at the Royal Academy of Dance, but that car park, truly, I don't want to offend anyone in South London, but it was, it, well, I don't know what the guy was yelling at. Anyway, we had a lovely time and um, it was lovely to be there. Now, having watched that clip, I just had a look at it, my hair before anybody says. I mean, when George got in the car, he went, you look like you've been, oh, by then, you look like you've been tasered. Um, my hair, so a lot of you comment on my hair. The reason it usually looks quite good is I have it blow dried. Um, there's a guy that blow dries my hair for me round the corner. I must put my ring on, I feel naked without my big ring. Clairgery. Clairgery. Going to be talking about Clairgery shoes very soon. Dear, this is going to take some editing, isn't it, Philippe? Oh gosh, really I am. I'm in every sense a mess this week. So I look like Wurzel Gummidge because. Sophia, my hairdresser, I said to her, I can't keep paying to have blow dries. And she went, okay, you need a really good hair uh, dryer and you need really good brushes. So I bought, I invested in both and I don't have the patience. I just, I can't hold a dryer and I just do not have the patience. This is the end result of me doing a blow dry at home. It looks dreadful. But I am going to tell you this. Um, tomorrow I am going to Harrods for a, a hair treatment which I am so excited about and so I'm going to take you with me and I'll film it and none, I mean none too soon, look at this and I think I'm going to meet Nadine Baggett there what is she going to say about this? something witty um, right, so this is what I wanted to talk to you about shoes I as you know, I'm very short. So I wear white pumps like these. These are my acne ones. 
I have others, but my acne ones are my favourite. I wear them almost throughout the whole year. I wear them with trousers, I wear them with dresses, I wear them with maxi dresses. Um, if I'm going to wear something a bit more um, stylish, I wear my Clergerie, which are really, really comfortable. All of these shoes are really comfortable because they're beautifully made. Often when you wear a, a flat form, a platform, a stiletto, if they're not well made, hello, um, they can be very uncomfortable. Clergerie, French brand, are amazing. So I've hunted everywhere for another pair of acne platforms. They are not doing them. They haven't done them for about two years. I bought two pairs, thank heavens, um, and both pairs now are nearly worn out. And I was panicking, thinking, what am I gonna buy? Because they just suit my style. Anyway, what are you eating? Oh, a feather. Are you going to come and... Here's your squirrel. Why don't you eat your squirrel instead? Somebody wrote on my... Uh, under the comments last time Myrtle was on the sofa. Gosh, I can see all my head. Saying, why don't you give your dog something to chew while she's on the sofa? The whole flat is covered in toys, chews, yak sticks. She's chewing on a squirrel at the moment. Um, don't worry, she has loads to entertain her. But I know you only care about her welfare. Anyway, where was I? Clergerie. So I walked past Clergerie and noticed they had what is um, a mix of a platform and an Oxford shoe. So it's a lace-up, a bit like a trainer, but uh, not a wedge. Um, I don't know how to... So there's a heel and a nice high uh, platform. And um, platform. Platform. Anyway, I'm going to show you it. I've ordered a pair and I'm going to go and collect them and I will take you in there just so you can have a look at Clergerie. But these shoes are perfect. I am very heavy on my shoes because I keep them for a long time and um, I walk everywhere in London. And I know that they're expensive, but it's like everything. I mean, look, this dress, every time I put anything on to film for my vlog, I think, oh, they've seen this before. But I think it's good that you see that I invest in my clothes and my shoes and I keep them for years. I wear them. These acne shoes I have worn for years, they're now wearing out. So the clergy will be a replacement. It means I can wear them, they're a white shoe, I can wear them with my lovely summer dresses, I can wear them with my maxi dresses and I can wear them with my flares. Um, so I think they'll be a practical shoe and um, I'll get a lot of wear out of them. So I'm gonna take you down there. I'm going to end with a shot of um, Myrtle chewing on her squirrel. This is the wonderful Clergery. <laughs> I promised you I'd bring you down here. And uh, yeah, I probably have four pairs of Clergery shoes. And they are investment pieces because you do wear them again and again. And if, like me, you walk around London, you want shoes that you can walk in, okay? So they're fashionable, but you can walk on them. Um, now this, I could have got these. So this is one version. Look at how wonderful they are. And when you're short like me, I need a bit of height. Um, and you will recognize probably some of the shoes that I wear, but it's well worth coming down here, if not look online, um, because they often have more online than they actually show in the store. But I'm just gonna go put some background music to this, Philippe, maybe. Have a look at these. And this is mine. This is the one I have chosen. So, 
I'm going to try these on in here. I mean, I've tried them on, they fit. Um, but I love them. See what I'm wearing? I'm wearing my acnes. And these are a bit more fashionable, as practical and equally as comfortable. So I'm going to pop them on. Don't you just love them? They are absolutely unique. Love them. And uh, yes, and I keep they, on receiving phone calls, people asking for them. They, you, I'm not surprised because you've never had these before. Um, I have these, I'll just show everyone. So I have these. Um, and these are a classic, one of Claire Jury's classics, but I have never seen this style. Which is unique, you will regret it. Yeah, absolutely. they are, and uh, so yes, they come in two, so you can have them like this, open toe, or the open toe. Good seller too, but by far, that's the winner. I, it is the winner, and um, can I just tell you this, is I will wear these, literally, I will walk from my flat to Soho to the theatre, whatever, because they are just so comfy. Um, absolutely love them, love them, love them, love them. So there we go, and um, yeah, summer is here. Aren't these beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And good morning. I'm not sure if I am quite so beautiful. Um, so this morning, I have had very little sleep, um, but I've been looking forward to this. We've had to cancel this so many times because of diaries and then when I got ill. Um, I am meeting Nadine Baggett in Harrods, um, in the hair department of Harrods, because, and that will explain why I'm wearing a face of makeup. But I mean, I don't know about you, my face takes Gosh, all the mess. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> my face takes a long time to settle in the morning, and often my makeup will just sit on it. But then, as the day goes on, it starts to sort of blend in. Let's hope. Um, so I'm meeting Nadine Baggett because, as you know, we are blondes, um, born to be blonde, the two of us, and um, we are going to have a Moroccan oil blonde perfecting treatment shampoo and conditioner on our hair. My hair, as you've seen this week, has never needed more attention, and that's purely because I didn't have it blow dried. Um, it's had loads of bleach, loads of colour. It's ugh, it's not been good this week, so this is perfect timing. Um, so we're going to meet in Harrods. She's going to be doing reels or TikTok. I, she's so across all this. I'm not. I will just vlog. And I wish I could get rid of that table. But anyway, um, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to go on the tube um, and meet her in Knightsbridge. Oh, and I must not spend money. I wore this last time I saw Nadine. It's my Paul Smith Paisley dress, but I love it because it's not actually sunny today. Oh, Marylebone church bells. Don't know if you can hear those. It's not sunny today. It's quite overcast. Um, I mean, it's got lovely long sleeves. I hate jackets. I guarantee Nadine will be in black and white. She loves monochrome and it's a good idea. I love colour, don't know whether that's such a good idea. But yes, I'm wearing my Paul Smith uh, Paisley dress because it really does suit this time of year. And I will see you in Harrods. Yeah. 
I'm not here to buy handbags, am I? I'm here to find Dean. This is a total distraction. I love Harrods. Every time I come to Harrods, it's completely changed its format, so I never really know where I am, which is wonderful. Right, Nadine, dry hair. This could break off if it's so dry. This is Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Hello. Hi. I'm Hi. so pleased to meet you. Really pleased to Sharon, meet you. Sharon, explain what we're going to do. Right, today we're going to have a fabulous experience with you with Moroccan Oil. So we're going to give you a wonderful treatment, wonderful service, great blow dry, all of that that goes with it. But we want to introduce you to our lovely Blonde Perfecting Shampoo, which will be fantastic. Yeah. Color. It's great on grey hair, it's great on blondes, lightly coloured hair, and it just neutralises all the brassiness. To oh, the accent. Perfect. <gasps> Nadine! Hello! Fancy seeing you here! Fancy seeing you here! Another born to be blonde. This is the way help it can get, trust Well, me. have you seen this? I look like I've been tasered. <laughs> Truly, I look like Wurzel Gummy. Between the two of us, we need all the help we can we get. We do. And I was just saying to everybody, when I last met you, I then was floored with an illness for three weeks, and you didn't get it. We went out to dinner. No, but I've had it since. Yes, I, because you said to me, oh, no, no, I'm absolutely fine. So you've had it. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had it for two weeks. I, you lost, I lost half a stone in two weeks. Oh my god. You All can't my... afford to. <laughs> yeah. I was then craving cheese, would you believe? You look ama absolutely amazing. So, um, I've heard all about this treatment. Do you know anything about it as yet? Can I just say I'm only here because <laughs> you have got me into this treatment. And your hair is beautiful. My hair needs all the help I can get. It's a really sort of horrible, slightly sort of Georges blonde and I want to go a good clean blonde so and it needs all the condition it can help as well so go on Nadine is doing her Pilates as well at the same time this is like a Pilates workout in this amazing salon go on this is genuinely the most comfortable back basin ever. Don't film up my nose, Joe. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. But look, it's, it supports your head, but the water runs through it's it. It's got these two lovely supporting things here, which really And really I am completely flat. Down. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and it's really good for all your vertebrae to lay flat like that. So I'm using the big... My vertebrae. Um, <laughs> the vertebrae. <laughs> Look at this. This is the thumbnail. That just look over at me. That's just really shocked me. <laughs> but I'm just thinking how much I love this lighting. All no, my jowls no, are no, gone. No, it's not that. It's also being flat on your back. Yeah, flat never on my get back. On, never get on top, Joe. No, and Nadine, I'm not being <laughs> flat on my back <laughs> for years. I look about 15 <laughs> lying here. <laughs> I know I could spend my life just like with this love lighting it. and I a purple head. I love it. Oh, that is lovely. That is really going to be brilliant. Did you say you're putting Velcros in? Yeah. Oh, only here. You know I was always a Velcro in? girl. Oh, I love a Velcro. <laughs> love a Velcro. I am, um, honestly, just look at this. It is the most amazing. That's so interesting. Style is the most amazing colour. Oh, I'm thrilled. And back in Harrods. I haven't been here since the 70s. Just amazing. We have left Harrods and I'm now in Harry's restaurant opposite Harrods having um, seafood risotto, loving my hair. Um, and do you know, I almost had a pixie cut. Watch this space, because I think I'm gonna have a pixie cut. Um, why not? Um, anyway, this is where I'm leaving the vlog. 
I have had the most wonderful day. I need to get this to Philippe because he's got to edit this, glue it all together for you on Sunday morning. My eyes still haven't opened. What is wrong with my eyes? More sleep, Joe. You need more sleep. Anyway, so can I just say thank you, um, all of you who have subscribed. Um, spread the word, give us a thumbs up. Keep sending the walk-in women. I will re-film myself in Carnaby Street. I know I keep saying that. And um, have a great weekend, and I will see you next Sunday. From Harry's in Knightsbridge, from the lavatory, loving it, sage, sage tiles. Goodbye. I'm walking, here's the